The Te Ara Awata project came, actually came out of the community. About 10 years ago there was a student project or workshop that involved thinking about what could happen in this area and a group of young students came up with the idea of connecting the Awataha stream as a connected open space through the middle of North Coast. The Awataha project got really interesting when we involved mana whenua, acknowledging their role as kaitiaki in North Coast. We brought them on board as partners at the very start of the project and they actually challenged the project team to think bigger and bring the stream out of the ground and make the stream itself part of the project. Well, Te Ara Awataha was first initiated by Pānuku a few years ago to the Mana Whenua uh, Kaitiaki group that worked with Pānuku. And uh, we visited the site and Awataha is actually the river that runs down through here, Awataha River. It runs all the way to the Waitamata. Ara Awataha means the pathway of that river. Where we are now at Jesse Tona is the headlands, the headwaters. Just up here is what we call a puna or a spring where water comes out of the ground and, um, and then flows down, so it's always flowing through this area. We developed a Modi framework, which we named Take Modi Take Hono. And that Modi framework allowed us to use our knowledge, our mātauranga, to um, evaluate what the condition of the river was initially, and then to implement our knowledge on how we could do it better, how it can be brought back to life, how we improve the life force of this river. To deliver this project we're working with the local environmental group Kaipariki project and ecologists such as Brett Stanfield who will help ensure that the community is involved from the outset in delivery of this project. So daylighting of a stream is basically taking out stormwater pipes, in this case it's the Awataha stream channel. As those pipes are removed the biota will start to recolonise that area. The hydrology will actually change it from a straight channel to more of a sinuous channel which creates a diversity of hydrology types that then enables more fauna, a more diverse fauna, to colonise those habitats. It's an opportunity to talk about the importance of the aquatic ecosystem itself, um, looking at, at these fish, releasing them, looking at invertebrate life and making other water quality measurements. So there's been a lot of good work happening here at the headwaters, so there's been plenty of riparian margins being planted up. Uh, I expect that this stream will actually become more stable with good shading, cool water temperatures which enables the likes of mayflies and stoneflies to colonise the water. I'd expect to see uh, more fish in this stream as well. What it's doing is it's reconnecting people to water. They have developed that relationship and understanding of the importance of water. We're losing 10 kilometres of stream length uh, per year in Auckland due to infill housing and piping. So, this is the reverse, this is actually creating wetted habitat that has previously been lost. What a fantastic resource for people to come and explore. It's really like a natural laboratory, it's an educational resource. Kids can come down and see what lives here and learn more about aquatic ecosystems. I think it's great. This project first and foremost addresses a whole lot of water problems in North Coast. It'll address flooding, it'll address water quality and socially it'll provide a community backyard for the people that are currently living in North Coast and seeking to move into North Coast. The Kaipataki project we've been going for about 22, 23 years now. We're an environmental hub of Auckland's North to work alongside a community and delivering the regeneration of Te Ara Awataha. We've been here every month uh, working with our community I'm um, getting stuck in, getting our hands dirty, uh, doing a lot of removal of pest uh, species uh, and doing a lot of planting during the planting seasons. So we are specifically the delivery partner that's responsible for the Jesse Tonar Scout Reserve at the source of the Greenway. In the meantime, we're looking to work with the wider project partners to ensure that the community is involved in an ongoing way through the creation of the Greenway. The original design guide was done in 2017 and it acknowledged that um, to realise this project was going to involve multiple delivery partners. So Kainga Ora's role has been about supporting the community, about facilitating the design process and then um, finding a way to turn that into reality and alongside Panuku we are delivering a large portion of this master plan. The Te Arawataha is the spine of North Coast. It is um, the place that will provide opportunities for people to gather, to come together, to feel safe, to be included. And it's an incredibly exciting time um, to be walking around North Coast right now and seeing the amount of progress and development that has happened. Construction is underway.